Hey guys, it's New Mustaka, and I'm back with you today for what is a small mega grading results series of videos, a couple of videos, small box that came in from NGC over in the USA. Um, many of the coins I'm submitting now are going through NGC in London, so uh, it's going to be not that often that I get one of these bigger boxes um, where I haven't seen anything before uh, to see the results from grading. So uh, hopefully you're in for a treat and there are some interesting coins in here that have come back for, um, for Silver Forum and Facebook members. Uh, and let's take a look at what's in the box. Um, so we've got a couple of these big hefty boxes which contain about 40, um, maybe 40 or over 40 coins each one. So there's about 80 coins there. And, uh, and then one large box containing a big extra large slab as well. Since I first started offering the service, I've noticed a bit of a shift from silver and towards gold. So there are still a fair few silver coins that people are sending in for grading, but it's pretty evident that silver coins, whereas once they were maybe 50% are now, are now maybe no more than 15 or 20% of the coins. And that makes sense because the grading process is pretty expensive and uh, you've got to be careful which silver coins you send in to be graded. Uh, there's a lot of silver coins graded, but they're mostly graded over in the USA via the bulk graders, people like Modern Coin Mart and uh, Atmex and, and others. So uh, a lot of the coins private individuals now send in for grading tend to be gold coins where the value of the grading service is um, a more appropriate proportion compared to the overall value of the coin itself. Uh, and there are lots of exceptions to that. Um, and you can see here probably one of the exceptions that uh, you know people do tend to choose where they, where they do send silver coins in for grading. They're sending coins which are proof coins, but um, you know there is a warning on that. Just because a new coin is a proof coin and it costs about £90, um, it doesn't necessarily mean that it'll always be worth £120 or so when it comes to the graded version. So let's take a look at some of these coins. Start off with a disaster. Um, I can't stand these grading disasters, but I guess um, if, when you look at this coin, you can see the cleaning marks. It's been wiped at some stage, and you can see that uh, this coin has uh, some of these marks and was correctly diagnosed by NGC as a details coin. Now, I can't remember offhand whether... Um, I picked that up and told the person who owned it and they still wanted it graded because that surprisingly does happen quite a lot. So even when um, I say to somebody, well, I think it's um, cleaned or maybe it's not worth grading, you'd be amazed at how many times people say to me, well, carry on anyway, I want it graded. Uh, and people have lots of different reasons for grading coins and sometimes people just like to have them uh, all stacked up together nice and neatly in a slab and I must say that's the way I am with these coins that I don't have any albums particularly and I like to be able to see the grade the uh, you know the type of coin uh, I like everything to be known after I've looked at it for the first time which is one of the reasons I choose to slab all of my coins pretty much and I don't I now no longer buy coins which are not suitable for slabbing so I guess I'm kind of doing my own collecting in reverse compared to how it was when I first started. So here's one coming up which is going to be a disaster. You can tell that because they have the little green thing sticking out. When this coin came in, I remember thinking what a lovely, amazing coin it was. It's a 1902 Coronation uh, Edward VII medal. I did a video on it. Uh, and I was absolutely amazed when NGC picked this up as a not genuine coin. Um, I still maybe think that they're not 100% right, but maybe they are. I mean, they, they must know what they're doing. True. 
who knows? Um, anyway, so that's a bit of a disaster and uh, very sad for the person who owns it. But I still think it may be worth taking it into Spink and having it authenticated in some way. So next one we have is a 1928 Peace Dollar, which got an MS-62. This is another one of those coins that, you know, it's silver, it's not rare, and, uh, you know, it's only if they are very, very um, well preserved, probably 65, 66, 67, that they're really, really worth grading. With great thanks to our sponsor, The Coin Connection, for agreeing to another month of 2% discounts. Uh, that's 2% off everything with the special code Kevin. Yep, K E V I N, Kevin. So, moving on through this mega box, uh, I must confess I'm a bit of a sucker for pedigrees or provenance on coins and. Uh, I think it does add something that often translates into money when it comes to some of these coins. So the, the Bentley collection, the auctions back in 2012, um, was probably one of the biggest and best and most amazing auctions of sovereigns. So coins that were in the Bentley collection do have an interesting history and do have a premium. So with this coin, uh, I was sent all of the particulars from the Bentley catalogue um, and uh, NGC were obviously happy that it was the same coin that was shown in the picture and have put X Bentley on the label. And a lot of people do look for these labels. You know, it's uh, some of you may consider it a kind of silly thing, an extravagance, not necessary, but actually a lot of people collect coins only with pedigree labels on. Okay, so this next coin is a quarter ounce Libertad 2004, which was the first of this design, first year, only produced the quarter ounce. And so far, none of these have been graded as 70. So this particular collector is trying to have the first of those coins graded. Going on to 2008, um, this same collector put in a set of 2008 coins and uh, this set of coins you can see the uh, all of the coins in the set there are five coins in the set going from 1 20th of an ounce up to the one ounce um, I really do think that every collector of modern coins should have some of these uh, proof libertads in their collection the mintages can be extremely low um, I can't remember offhand, but 2008 probably had around about 500 coins minted, maybe a bit more, a bit less. Um, a lot of those have got destroyed and um, you know handled over the years. So really good quality Libertads are really hard to find. 1981, uh, the collector who put this in was obviously hoping for a 70, like with any modern coin, put in both of these five sovereign gold pieces but the fact is that 1981 coins very rarely get a 70 when they go for grading even with uh, conservation they rarely hit the 70 and in fact had those coins hit the 70 they would have been worth potentially multiples of uh, of their 69 value another couple of interesting coins here both did hit the 70 the snowman uh, has an increasingly high value in 70. Not that many have been graded. The ones that sell graded at 70 uh, are worth about 50 to 80 pounds more than the ungraded ones. This one didn't hit the 70, unfortunately. The one you saw there next to the first snowman was a 2008 Platinum coin, 2008 uh, Britannia, and that one actually did really, really well to get a 70. This one is interesting because this um, is a 70, but it is the variety. So the one that you see most often is the green hat variety. But this one with the blue hat or the grey hat, 
that's got a 70. That could be one of the first few uh, of this variety that have been graded by NGC and, and with a 70 grade. And that one should get uh, quite a high uh, premium in the secondary market, I think, with the 70 grade and the Blue Hat variety. Be interesting to see if you ever see that one come up on eBay for a sale. So uh, I think it was the same collector this time who, who, who put in some Paddington coins. Um, there might be some more Paddington coins this year, so watch out for Paddington press releases from the Raw Mint uh, or Coin Connection. But uh, pretty cool coins. There are two varieties in this first year, 2018, for Paddington. You've got the one with him waving the flag outside Buckingham Palace and the one with him with the Intercity 125 at Paddington Station. A couple of Queen's Beast coins, the, uh, the Bull and the Falcon, uh, both of these got a 69. You know, it's always disappointing, or people do get disappointing, disappointed when they get 69s, but with no real reason, because there's not a lot of difference between 69 and 70, and some of you guys are better off collecting 69s, that's for sure.